Okay, so third today is the third day on the on-site carving and hopefully I can wrap it up today. Today's mostly Dremel carving, so what I'm gonna do first, because this owl did start to crack right here. I don't know if you guys can see it on film, but I'm gonna work on his eyes and, and it's all gonna be Dremel carving, eyes here, um, eyes here, and eyes on the back guy too. Okay, so I got that head down in the garbage bag up there because I don't want to crack anymore until we get some linseed on it. I uh, hauled out the tail here a bit. I don't know how you guys are going to hear today. It's kind of windy right now, so um, what I'm going to I kind of sanded these feathers up here. Now I'm going to sand all these feathers and uh, burn it. Get the owl completely done. So, oh yeah, I still got to do the tal talons. So Brad can show up. Uh, on his lunch break and we'll get some linseed oil on it, on the owl, to slow down the cracking. This right here is why I'm not a fan of carving wet wood. Yep, fuzzies. Owl's almost done. Starland, I've done all that I can do But I'll try again I'll try again Stay on the straight and narrow We'll meet up at the end Cramped up on the inside At the thought of losing you But I'll try again I'll try again Stay on the straight and narrow We'll meet up at the end Okay, so it is a nice day. A little bit windy, but not bad. So, I used my uh, grinder with uh, 40 grit to sand it after I burnt it. The, the Sandoflex, I don't have uh, good enough grit uh, sandpaper for it. And I'm sorry guys, I know it's windy and it might be hard for me to hear, but there it is so far. Um, I still haven't sounded the owl up there yet, like to give it the high points. I did the bottom tail, but I think I'm gonna do sound the owl now. Cause uh, I told, I uh, gotta get a hold of Brad and tell him we've gotta get the, um, what's that oil on the uh, top of the owl. And I still got to detail the wood spirits' faces. So, man, I hate carving this wet wood, this wet pine with my uh, little cut saw bits with the Dremel. I got some other bits to, in just in case I'm having problems. I also got some abalone shell here too. Maybe you might want some of that in there. Anyways. Alrighty, so I'm super happy with the way this is going. I do have some abalone shell. I was thinking I might want to put it in one of these guys' eyes. You guys got to remember when you do that, when he puts the oil on, it's going to darken this up and it will blend together more with the dark stuff, right? So, it's 
get a full visual of this. I think probably for me this will be about I'd say when it's done about 18 hours. Now with the eyes, owl eyes. There's this guy anyways. Big bicep. But these owl eyes, I think I want to um, feather them out, like just so they're not so plain circles. I think I want to do some carving up here too. You guys can see a crack here. And there's some up there too. Um, yeah, so I think that's what I'm going to do next, but let's get a visual of this. Cool, man. Cool. Hey, you guys want to see real some real? You guys want to see something funny? So yeah, I smoke cigarettes and a lot of you are going to say that's not funny because it's going to kill me. But look at my pocket. Because I don't, I, I, hey, just look at my pocket. I don't throw the cigarette butts in the ground, I throw them in my pocket. <laughs> okay, so remember the eyes now from till when I'm done. Oh yeah. Hey, Evo Rick, I hope you're feeling better. Um, I just want to take a moment here to uh, thank a few people. First of all, all my subscribers, uh, the members on uh, for Carving Fusion. So I'll have some more member videos coming up soon. Um, yeah, I hope you're feeling better, Evo Rick. Um, a big thank to Steven Kanzora because I asked some questions about carving wet pine. He gave me some tips. Uh, so that was a big thanks to Steve Kanzora. Big thanks to uh, Ryan Cook and uh, for teaching me details on spirit faces. And a big thank you to Uncle Kevin at Uncle Kevin Carves. So Ryan Cook Carving on YouTube and uh, Uncle Kevin Carving on uh, YouTube. They both have channels. They're both professional chainsaw carvers. So I'd just like to say thank you everybody. Don't forget to sign your pieces. Okay, so I got some linseed oil here. Boiled linseed oil. And I'm just gonna freaking soak it on. Yep. So I'll do a time lapse of that too. But first of all, let's get a, too bad I couldn't stay this color. And I haven't put the eyes in the owl. I'll do that in a couple days because I want to oil inside there too. Anyways, I'll do. I'll get my tripod, and we'll set it right up here. And you guys can tripod camera. You guys can watch when the it darkens up with the linseed oil. There's You can put spar varnish on this or whatever, but he wants the oil because he wants to keep oiling it and oiling it and oiling it. I know some of you guys will be, are going to be like, well, you can't oil it because it's soaking wet and the water will retract the oil. Well, you know what, guys? People that say that just kind of go away. Okay guys, so that's a wrap. It's all linseed and oiled. I suggest you put uh, heavy coats on the end grain. That's my buddy Mark. He lives down, uh, his wife bought a couple owls off me. How you doing? Good, thanks. I don't know how well you guys can see on this side, but there it is all done. So he's going to put a bunch more coats on it. I think I'm going to uh, order some glass eyes to put in these eyes because they'll never fade like the plastic ones, right? So anyways, thanks everybody and uh, thanks Brad and his wife and Mike Bennett and everybody. Yeah, I like this piece. It looks good. I'm happy with it. Let's keep that keep on top of that oil.
and with an oil too, like once the oil kind of dries up a bit, I can always come and touch things up too if I want, you know, so, oh and I dip it in the oil. Yeah.